In the previous chapter, we have seen uh, we have shown a, uh, the Cauchy criterion for convergence, namely, uh, if a sequence of real number is, uh, is convergent, converges, converges, uh, if and only if so a sequence of uh, real numbers converge converges if and only if this sequence is a Cauchy sequence. Uh, by the way, uh, what was a Cauchy sequence? Uh, roughly speaking, Cauchy sequence is, uh, is a sequence for which a, the difference between two uh, terms let's say a n and a m tends to zero as both m and n goes to infinity go to infinity right so this was the Cauchy criteria so in other words uh, x a, uh, a n converges if the difference between two terms uh, tends to zero as both uh, n and m goes to infinity yeah so uh, for the limits of functions, a similar thing holds. So that is the Cauchy criterion for uh, limits. Uh, first, we uh, explain for the right limit of a function. So here's a theorem. Uh, let f of x be a function on an interval, which is semi-open. Uh, a and B. So this interval does not include A but includes B. Okay, then here's the theorem. Uh, the right limit as X tends to A from the right. So this limit exists, so it converges. If and only if the following Cauchy criterion holds. That is, for all epsilon, which is positive and real, there exists a delta, which is positive and real, such that for all x and y within this interval, this interval, uh, if x and y are in, a, in the subinterval a from a to a plus delta okay so if x and y are both in this interval then the difference between f of x and f of y is less than epsilon okay so this is similar to the Cauchy criteria criterion for the sequence right so this uh, tends to zero, so it means in this case the difference between x, f of x and f of y tends to zero. You know, epsilon can be any positive real number, so it can be very small. So basically, it means the difference between these two uh, values is almost zero. And not surprisingly, we have. A, uh, we have analogous similar results for the right limits and limits at positive and negative infinities. But uh, uh, we don't show it here, but we only prove for this case uh, for the right limit. So let's prove this. You know, this is if and only if. So that means we have to prove both ways. First, assume this then prove this and next we assume this and then prove this okay so first so this way suppose this right limit exists uh, right so exists then 
uh, this limit has some value. Okay. For some real number alpha. Okay. And by the definition of the right limit, by definition, Now, don't abuse this term, okay? Don't abuse this phrase. By definition, we are just talking about the definition. Okay, so by definition, that so uh, the fact that there exists uh, the right limit, this means this. For all epsilon, which is positive and real, there exists a real positive delta such that for all x within the interval, of definition uh, for all x uh, okay so this is right limit so that means uh, this uh, so a is smaller so x minus a is positive and if x minus a is less than delta that implies the difference between f of x and alpha is less than epsilon Okay, here we use this symbol x, but uh, of course we can use any other symbols like y or z or whatever. Okay, so the same holds for y and anything else. So, <coughs> so oh wait a minute. Oh yes. So okay. So this means. Okay. By the way, this means x is within this interval a and a plus delta okay it's the same thing so uh, what we want to show is the Cauchy condition that is uh, this one okay so if x and y are within this uh, interval then the difference between x and uh, f of x and f of y should be less than epsilon that's what we want to show uh, for that uh, I think it's actually better if we use epsilon over 2. You know, this could be any positive real number, so epsilon over 2 is just fine. You know, no problem. Okay, so uh, now f of x minus f of y modulus is equal to f of x minus alpha plus alpha minus f of y. We just subtract alpha and then add the same alpha. So the effect, the net effect is zero. And then apply uh, the triangle inequality as usual to get f of x minus alpha plus alpha minus f of y. And of course, we can, you know, we don't have to worry about this order. Uh, so this uh, first term is less than epsilon over two, and the next one, you know, y is also, uh, we assume, uh, y is also in, in this range, so it's also less than epsilon over two, which is this plus this is epsilon. Therefore, the Cauchy condition is met. Okay, so that's the proof of the, the only if part. Okay, next, uh, let's prove the opposite, the converse of uh, the above. Okay, so we assume that the Cauchy condition is satisfied. So that is this. For any positive real epsilon, there exists a delta that is real and uh, pos positive and real for all x such that for all x and y which which are in this interval if x and y are in this sub interval interval then the difference between f of x and f of y is less than epsilon okay so suppose this is true for this function then we want to prove that this right limit exists. So uh, to do this, uh, we uh, do this in, in two steps. First, let us define 
uh, sequence. Okay, define a sequence of real numbers. So as a n e equal to a plus b minus a over n. Now uh, maybe I should write by. Okay, what's this sequence? So you know the domain of this function is this. So from a to b, and b is included, a is not included. Okay, so this is semi-open interval. So a1 is a plus b minus a over 1, which is b. So a1 is here. Okay, let's see. a1 is here. And what about a2? If you calculate, it will be a plus b over 2. So that is the midpoint somewhere here. Okay, so that's a1 and that's a2. And what's a3? It should be somewhere here, a3 and a4, a5, and so on. So it will approach a. Okay, so it will converge to a. Uh, in short, so a n is a monotone decreasing f sequence such that uh, it converges to a as uh, n goes to infinity, right? It's monotone decreasing sequence com that converges to a. Okay, so now. Uh, okay. For any, uh, let's write. For any positive real number epsilon, uh, we can choose. Uh, we can find find a delta which is real and positive, such that uh, such that uh, this is less than epsilon, right? As long as, uh, well, let's write it again. <laughs> okay, that's easier. So if x and y are within a, uh, between a and a plus delta, then f of x minus f of y is the difference is less than epsilon. Okay. And by Archimedes principle, uh, we can find a natural number n such that such that uh, n delta is greater than b minus a. Okay, b minus a is a positive number, and delta is a positive number. And we can find some natural number n that satisfies this. Okay, so then uh, for all n, that is, you know, we're assuming this is a natural number that is greater than or equal to this capital N, we have a n minus a uh, is, so we call the definition of a n. That was a plus b minus a over n. So if you subtract a, that is b minus a over n. And because we are assuming this uh, lowercase n is greater than or equal to uh, capital N. So that is, uh, so this quantity is less than or equal to b minus a over capital N. But now, if you look at this, this capital N was chosen to satisfy this one. So this means uh, it is less than delta. Okay, so this means uh, a n is greater than a, and 
less than a plus delta. Okay, uh, so this sequence A converges to A from the right, and from this inequality, that is A n is less than A plus delta. Okay, now uh, because we are assuming the Cauchy condition, for all m and n that is greater than or equal to n, we have f of a m minus f of a n is less than epsilon. Okay, because this and this are within this interval. So that means. So if you like, uh, we can define a new sequence Bn by f of An, right? So if we define this sequence, this Bn is Cauchy. It's a Cauchy sequence. So what does it mean? It means uh, this sequence converges to some alpha which is a real number okay so converges so means converges so this bn converges okay so this bn is defined by this so you know a f of an converges and viewed as a sequence of real numbers okay so this is not a function per se because this f, you know, bn doesn't take all the values uh, f of x can take. It can take only those uh, values where uh, this an uh, specifies. Okay. Now next, the next step is to uh, prove the existence of the right limit. So we want to prove, after all, this. This is equal to alpha, right? So we want to prove this. Okay, so uh, for any, again, for any epsilon, which is positive and real, there exists some delta, which is positive and real, such that uh, for all, uh, just simplify uh, the notation, for all x and y, which are within uh, this in subinterval, uh, we have f of x and f of y, the difference is less than epsilon. Okay, so this is given. So this is given. So we can assume this. So, but from this, starting from this, we want to show this. Okay, so let's see. We want to show f of x minus alpha is uh, less than epsilon. Okay, this is what we want to show. Okay, so, so we haven't shown this yet, but this is our goal. Uh, okay, to show that, let's see. Hmm. Okay, so because this sequence Bn converges to alpha, as we have seen. Uh, so in other words, we, we can say this. For all epsilon, which is positive and real, there exists a natural number n such that, uh, such that for all natural numbers greater than or equal to capital N, the difference between f of a n, so this is b n actually, minus alpha is less than epsilon over 2. Okay, Because this viewed as a sequence of real numbers converges, so we can say this. Okay, And again, for a purpose, later purpose, we instead of just epsilon, we write epsilon over 2. Okay. Then, now calculate this. Somehow we want to use the Cauchy condition. 
uh, or the convergence of this uh, sequence. So this is f of x minus f of a n plus f of a n. So same thing, subtract and add, and minus alpha. As usual, we use the triangle inequality. And f of a n oops, minus alpha. Okay, for this part, okay, a n, a n. Uh, of course, we are assuming x n. Oh, wait a minute. X is within this interval. You know, by the Cauchy condition, and also a n. Uh, you know the way we constructed this uh, sequence, this a n is also within this uh, uh, interval. Okay, uh, if you look at uh, wait a minute, where is it? This argument here. This a n, if if uh, this n is greater than this uh, capital n, then this sequence a n is within this interval. So that means that means this is less than epsilon over 2 and this is less than epsilon over 2. Okay. Now wait a minute. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think we should also have 2 here. Okay. So in this case it's y, uh, x and y, but uh, in here it's x and a n. Both are within, uh, within between a and a plus delta. So anyway, so this is epsilon after all. So that means f of x converges to alpha. So that was what we wanted to prove. So the right uh, limit of f of x is alpha as x tends to a from the right.